Outgoing Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara will take a new role in the next administration as President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Solicitor General. Guevara now has the distinction of serving three consecutive presidents. He was Deputy Executive Secretary for Legal Affairs in Malacanang during the Aquino administration. In 2018, President Rodrigo Duterte appointed him as the Justice Secretary. Guevara will replace outgoing Solicitor General Jose Calida, who used the OSG to go after perceived critics of the government. Meantime, Marcos also names former Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff and retired Army General Jose Boy Faustino Jr. as his Defense Secretary. He will succeed Delfin Lorenzana. The incoming Defense Chief will serve as Senior Undersecretary and Defense Secretary in an officer in charge capacity, then will later assume as Secretary on November 13, 2022. As the Defense Secretary, he will primarily oversee the country's defense, security, and territorial integrity. The police are tightening the security protocols for the oath-taking of Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte as the country's new vice president on Sunday, June 19. Aside from a gun ban, police announce a prohibition on the use of caps, umbrellas, and jackets during Duterte's oath-taking. Supreme Court Justice Ramon Paul Hernando will swear in Duterte as the country's 15th vice president. The gun ban in Davao City started on Thursday, June 16 until midnight on June 21. Police say they will also strictly enforce the wearing of face masks and other Davao City ordinances on public health and security. The police and military will deploy a combined security force of more than 4,000 around the city, especially at the San Pedro Square. It is where President Rodrigo Duterte's daughter will take her oath of office. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. Tarlac police file more complaints against the farmers of Hacienda Tinang in Concepcion and their supporters, this time for disobedience and obstruction of justice, among others. Lawyers for the so-called Tinang 83, composed of farmers and land reform advocates, receive on Friday, June 17, a summon to appear in a preliminary investigation hearing, signaling the police have filed more complaints. Their lawyer, attorney Jobert Pahilga, says the police filing more complaints, quote-unquote, says a lot. They wanted to pin down these farmers and uh, their supporters for a baseless offense. Uh, in the first place, there is no crime that was committed because the farmers are the owners of the land and they are just cultivating it. The Tinang farmers and their supporters were conducting bongkalan, or a cultivation activity on June 9, when the police started arresting people. Bahilga claims it was a peaceful activity. Hacienda Tinang is a 200-hectare land that was awarded to farmers in 1995 under the government's agrarian reform program. The Golden State Warriors cement their place as one of the NBA's great dynasties with seven championship titles to their name as they defeat the Boston Celtics with a 103-90 victory in Game 6 of the Finals. Stephen Curry is named NBA Finals MVP for the first time after scoring 34 points in their victory game over the Celtics on Thursday, June 16. Asked about the path from having the worst record in the NBA to champion in three seasons, Curry says they found a way to just get it done. The 4-2 final series win brings the Warriors to a tie with the Chicago Bulls for third place in the all-time winners list behind the Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers, who both have 17 titles. Music superstar Beyoncé reveals the title of what appears to be her first solo album in six years, Renaissance, following on the critically acclaimed Lemonade. The chart topper simply lists on Thursday, June 16, Act 1 Renaissance, and the date July 29 in her bio on her social media. Streaming sites Spotify and Apple also post artwork for the record. Fans had anticipated news from the Grammy Award winner after the singer deleted her profile picture from social media platforms last week. Announcing Beyoncé as British Vogue's July issue cover star, editor Edward Enenfull says he had listened to her new music at a dinner at the star's house earlier this year. <laughs> 